Welcome one and all to the demo for Dysomancer. My name is Deep Space Matt, and today all I wanted was to spend some time fishing, but everything from hungry wolves, thieving geese, and deadly pigs will try and stop me. I'll need to choose my path carefully and strategically use my cards to attack, block, convert mana, and generate dice rolls to my advantage. Can I get through the gauntlet? Let's find out in Dysomancer. All right, here we go with the demo for Dysomancer. This is an upcoming roguelike deck builder with a really unique looking hand-drawn art style. Now, as of this recording, this demo is available to download and try for yourself. If you want to check it on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. But for now, let's get right into it with uh, Prologue. What a great day. Let's go fishing on the west side of the village. That sounds great. I love fishing. Oh, we got a we got a wolf block in our way. This is the mana cost of this card. Okay, the one the little symbol there. This is your mana pool. Every turn you can get 3 mana. The mana limit is 4. Go over and the first mana gained vanishes. At turn's end, all hand cards are automatically discarded. Now try to use the strike. Uh, three damage to you. A bad wolf can be a bully sometimes. Oh, it's, <laughs> he sounds so sad when I use the strike on him. Uh, are you going to do any damage to me? I can't quite tell. Uh, let's just do a, a strike, I suppose. And we'll guard. Oh, I like the little the animation of you putting up the shield. That looks great. Uh, enemies next turn plans displayed here resolve from the top to the bottom plan wisely in response to the enemy's intentions all right you're gonna do uh six damage so we're gonna block six damage get a strike in and the turn easy enough oh i like the i like the attack animation uh yep yeah, same thing double block strike All right, and then a uh, double block and oh no wait what am i doing i can i can take you out right now and there we go choose between one new card uh <laughs> choose but you want this card or do you want this card fragile remove the card from the game after used as in like completely removed from the game come live with me and be my love and we will some new pleasures prove of golden sands and crystal brooks with silken lines and silver hooks. Heal 12, draw 2. Oh, look at you, piggy. Everybody be cool. This is a robbery. Thick skin, reduce a damage taken by 3. Wait, but that's... So I, like, do no damage to you? How am I supposed to do anything? Yeah, no damage. Watch out, this piggy has the special ability Thick Skin. Thick skin cuts Piggy's damage by three, so regular strike cards can't harm it. Try to use a more powerful card against it. Oh, look at that one-time crossbow. Mana with color. This card is effective, but requires blue to use. Blue, blue mana comes from any blue card. Drag a card to the mana pool to exchange it for mana. Here, both strike and one-time crossbow can be exchanged for blue mana. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so I can't use this anyway, so if I put it there, oh nice, it turns it blue, and we can use this. Exert, remove the card from the battle after cost, or cast. Okay, so this does remove it completely from the game, from your deck, because fragile is different from exert. But we will uh, do this, do seven to you. Oh, I like the animation. The animations are really cool looking. They're bringing up the crossbow. And I guess we'll we'll do a guard and take two damage. And uh, yeah, same thing. Let's do this. Seven to you. Put up a guard and can't do much else because this will do nothing. Wait, if I if I change this to blue, does that stay for my next turn? Let's find out. 
Oh, it does. Excellent. Now I have four mana to use, which is the max. Uh, but all we need is one here. Take you out. Very nice. Choose between one new card. Another fishing wish. Question mark. A strange girl. I met a girl. Swords and shields are so boring. Try these goodies. Okay. Get chaos strike times two. Get crossroad times two. Get dice bonus times two. Oh, here comes the dice. Deal. It looks like that's a d20. Deal d20 damage. The girl left. What the hell is all this? Keep moving. Leave. See, can I move over? Oh, I can't. Oh, look, there's like a boss over here. And hey, we, we get to the fishing zone. Multicolor mana cost. Uh, purple or colorless can be used to play this card. If you have purple and colorless, colorless is saved first using colored mana first. You are a healthy piggy. Every time he pats his own belly, somehow it makes him even more healthy. So you're going to heal three and deal five damage. Uh, I cannot block any of that. Oh, it is a d20. But I could possibly... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this costs both, right? It does. I need a purple and a colorless. So I can trade this in. Big hits, big hits. 17, let's go. Oh, we got you. Uh, we got you. Trade this in for blue. Hit you for 10. There we go. Look at that. Another fishing wish. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at you. Piggy boss. Powerful leader of the piggy clan. How dare you treat my piggies like that. Thick skin. Reduced damage taken by 99. Oh, you got like 500 health as well. So this does this does nothing, right? Yeah, damage zero. So are you going to give me a, a new card? Things just got complicated. Why is this piggy so strong? You won't be able to handle it like this. Here's something good for you. Super strong dice card. You can use dice to change any number you see on the screen. The change is permanent until you die. Try playing with this deck. The one dice. Whoa, do I, do I get all of these? Permanently change the target number to a D6. What? Special grenade. Deal 99 damage to all enemies. Deal 99 damage to yourself. Okay, how does this... Oh, look at this. Oh, I can change any of these numbers. Okay, so I can uh, change your thick skin to a D6. Roll a 1. Roll a 1. A 2. That's great. And I can change your health to five, sure. <laughs> Take 245. Another 245. Okay, but then how do I... Because I'm going to take 99 damage to myself. I can change my health, but that just does it by a D6. What is this? I don't know what this is up here. But uh, I probably want more of it. Four, sure. Can I get even more? Can I get it? Roll six. Oh, uh, nope, nope. Let's try it again. Okay, I'm just going to stick with four. I'm running out, of, running out of these cards here. I can change the number of cards I have or the mana. Uh, but how... Oh, I can change... I can change the card here. Wait, how do I... Come on. It won't let me click on it. Wait, can I... Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, excellent. Yes. Two damage. 99 to you. Two damage to me. Oh, this is really cool. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me see. Come on, roll a six. No, not, that's not what I need. I don't know what this is, but it's some kind of currency. There we go. And I'm sure I want more of it. Okay, now we're going to... Wait, where is it? The grenade? 
<laughs> That's great. I love I love the animations. The end of the beginning, I just saw something purple in the distance and it feels like it's getting closer and closer. It feels wrong. That's not good. Time to go home. I didn't even get a chance to uh fish. Purple mist, the power to change numbers comes with a cost. Purple mist will chase you throughout your journey. Whenever you move forward, it will also chase you a small step forward. Don't let it catch up to you. Oh, okay, here we go. So is this, oh, this is where we were before. So we just gotta run. Uh, run all the way back to the beginning. The true beginning, the purple fog keeps spreading. In the haze, I seem to see things not of this world. This world is broken. The girl appears again beside me. Why is this happening? Because you use that dice card to change the numbers in this world. It's quite useful, right? Otherwise, you would have been beaten by Piggy Boss. I am a god. Only a god can do such incredible things. I came to save you. If you stay here, you'll be swallowed by these purple strange things. She says this with a smile. Even though it's a frightening thing, escape this world with me. Sure. I mean, otherwise I, I die. Welcome to my home. This is the middle realm, the junction between parallel worlds. The world we just left is no more, but I can take you to countless almost identical worlds. However, no matter where you go, you'll have a purple mist chasing after you. If you can run all the way to the center of the royal city, I'll send you to a world where you'll, ha where you'll have time to leisurely fish. Good luck. Don't forget to bring the dice or you won't last an hour. Oh, look at this. Okay, upgrade. We got here. Orb of life. You can use green orb when selecting the start deck. Not available in demo. Fair enough. Bigger dice. You can upgrade your dice in the shop. Upgraded dice will be bigger. You can use dice in the loot screen. So we can't we can't get any of this, right? I do not have enough stars. Where are my stars? Oh, down here on the bottom left. Okay. So let us prepare. Your class and your start deck will be generated based on the mana orbs you've chosen. You will gradually unlock other orbs along the journey. For now, drag and drop blue to the center. Oh, very interesting. The blue orb, knowledge, wisdom. As a sage once said, a pig without a brain is just a pig. The purple orb. So if I... Can I move these out? No, the orb has stuck to the charm. You must carry this orb with you. The combination of the orbs determines your class for this journey. You must choose three orbs to set out. Oh, it changes it over here on the right. Oh, that's really cool. So depending on the combination, there'll be a different class. Vast in knowledge, improvising with courage. Be water, my friend. The sage. Purple orb, a randomness, chaos. The infinite monkeys at typewriters couldn't do without. The void orb, matter, the world. There needs to be something for interaction. Nothing at all won't do. All right, let's go. Relic. After deciding your class, you will receive some start relics. Relics are very useful. Be sure to check it. Activated relics, such as the one dice, need a click to trigger its effects. Remember to use them. The one dice require charge 2. Press to activate. Permanently change the target number to a d6. When time passes, charge for this relic. Charge count can exceed the charge requirement and accumulate. Time passes when you pass through a map location. As time passes, the purple mist moves a step closer. Okay, so it costs... It costs two, and we're going to gain a charge, though, every time we move on the map, it looks like. Uh, Alright, let's go. Ah, the familiar scenery. Let's go a bit further and see. Oh, here we go. Look at this. We got a proper map now. Okay, where do we want to go? Uh, what is this? Is this... I can only go to adjacent nodes. Yes, but is it... There's no tooltip. I wish I knew what this was. Uh, this looks like an upgrade. This is an event. Campfire. Treasure. Um... This, I'm assuming this is a shop then. Because this is an elite here. Yeah, I'm guessing this is a shop. So if we head... Where do we want to go? Upgrade. 
Oh, here we can like get rid of cards as well. Uh, let's go up this way. We're gonna hit. We'll hit cup the. We'll hit these here. We'll come up here to maybe this anvil later on. Oh, and there goes the purple mist coming after us. Look at you, bush warrior, a distinguished bush warrior, unmatched among its shrubs. Gain what is that? D D four block, and deal five damage. Uh, oh, D8 strike. All right, let's do this. Hit you for seven. Let's go. And D6 block. Give me five. Oh, give me a six. All right, excellent. So I can use this now. Health bar broken. Oh, very neat. I'm guessing if they heal, they can't heal past uh, the health bar that you've broken. Oh, and you gain one block. I like it. I love it. Oh, there's a crossbow. Deal 12 damage. Loaded ammo one. After casting, reduce one loaded ammo. When it re reaches zero, you need to reload the card. Well, this will take you out. So let's just do that. Excellent. Choose between four new cards. Take cover. Gain nine block. Miracle. If this card isn't drawn at the turn start, trigger its effect when casting. Wait, if this card is not drawn at the start of the turn, you trigger its effect when casting. Gain 9 evasion when being attacked. Check 20. Add evasion to the final result. If succeeded, the attack misses. Lose half regardless of whether successful or not. Gain 3 block, gain 2 fortified. At the start of your turn, gain 2 block, then lose half of the fortified. Kick. When casting, you can discard up to three cards. For each card discarded, duplicate this card. Oh. Okay. So we got we got some kicker action going on. Gain three block when playing a blue monocolor card. Uh, gain five block. Get one. What is that? Get one red. Uh, oh, no. One this up here. Whatever that is on, on the top left. And remain two. After casting, reduce one remain. Exert the card when it reaches zero. Restore after rest. Okay. Um, I assume when it says gain, does that mean I just gain it permanently for the rest of the battle? Which seems pretty good. I do like this nine block and evasion. So we get the evasion... If the card isn't drawn at the turn's start, we get the evasion. So we have to draw it through another means, like a draw card. Uh, you know what, let's do... Uh, let's do this, defensive tactic. We have a fair amount of mono blue cards, I believe. We're gonna try out this event construction site walking by a construction site the foreman spotted me and rushed over hey there are you busy you seem fit and able could you help us out workers keep leaving and we're behind schedule please i'll pay you double wages on the spot uh all right i'll help you at game three okay so this is uh some kind of coins my strength is no joke i'll work clearly and effectively for you we get a fatigue card when drawn gain one week malady and exert I've got other things to do. We're just going to take the easy route and gain three. That was quite tough work. Take the money and leave. Uh, a throat wolf. Throat wolf may attack during your turn. Evasion when attacked. Check 20. Add evasion 10 to the final result. If succeed, the attack misses. All right, uh, that's bad. I think if we do this, hit chance modify to 45% chance. Well, we got you, and now you're down to five. That's good. Uh, do I want to block everything? Let's try this. 
Get lucky? Oh, we did not get lucky. Uh, okay, we'll just, we're gonna block everything. Or we'll not block everything, we'll block most everything. Gain eight evasion, no, that's bad. You need to not do that. So we can swap. We'll gain three block. Wait, do these count as mono blue cards? Or maybe they don't. Okay, never mind. I don't know what a mono blue card is. I thought that might have been this because it's blue, but then it might be casting cost. I guess we're going to... Uh, let's find out. I'm going to take a risk here. Because I want to see if this strike... If this counts as mono blue. Because this is multicolored. I don't think it does. I think this is multicolored. Here, let's do this. We'll do this. We'll do it this way. We'll play this. And then we'll play this. Oh, it does. So that does count. This counts as mono blue. Because we gained six block off of that. Okay, uh, and we can't do anything else, so end the turn. Uh, focus strike. The wolf is going to bite you. If the enemy's health bar is broken, all of its focus intentions will be destroyed. Oh, if we can do four more damage. Oh, we need to reload this. Okay, uh... What is the percentage chance? 30%? Not great. We failed. But now you're down to 6. So can we get you here? A 65% chance? Come on, break your focus. Excellent. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, and might as well reload this. We don't need to block. Now this buff that I have, does it show it here? Yes, it does. Very nice. I like that. Uh, a regular strike. Let's uh, roll the dice. No, that was bad. But we will gain three block from doing this. Excellent. And another three from here. And we missed. That's fine. Oh, this defensive tactic was great. I really like this. Oh, there's our crossbow. Yes, do it while you don't have any evasion. Get ya. Another strike. And another strike. And we got it. Battle of Wits, deal four damage. Kicker three. I like that. Vicious Mockery, a deal D6 damage to the target for each keyword in your hand. Interesting. That's handy. Again, when you play a card with temporary, deal three damage to a random enemy. We don't have that. Gain whenever play a card with temporary, add one random mana perishable. Exert this card. If it stays in hand, it turns end or is converted to mana. Well, we don't have any cards with temporary on them. So it's either Vicious Mockery or Battle of Wits. I don't know how many cards we have that are that have keywords. What's a keyword? Is block a keyword? Or is just the blue? Oh, I think just the blue are keywords because they show up on the tooltips. Like exert, reload, and keep. Uh, so, Vicious Mockery, probably not good for our deck right now. This seems pretty good. Yeah, we're going to do that. Gain a gold. Uh, head to. I mean, we really don't need a campfire right now. Let's uh, do another battle. Oh, we got two enemies. We got a crow. An angry little crow. Bird multi-strike. This bird will increase its attack time each turn, but there is a limit. And another throat wolf with your evasion. What is this? Wolf pack. At the start of the turn, if it has ally... And eight or more evasion, the intention by time for attack will be generated. Well, you have an ally and you have more than eight evasion, so that sound that seems bad. We're taking ten damage. 
Uh, okay, let's, uh... Wait, you have... You have 30 health to your 20. Let's try and go for the crow first. Five, that's good. I can do another eight to you, but I feel like I need to block. Uh, yeah, just double block. We'll take four damage. And you're gonna get... Buy time for attack. After you cast any card, it deals three damage. Oh, that's awful. Oh, we got kicker, though. I can kick three. So I can do, what, 16 damage? I'll have, like, four copies of this. So I can take the bird out. Right? If I... If I do this, I mean, I'll be taking nine damage if I do that. Discard up to three cards. For each card discarded, duplicate this card. Yeah, off of four of these cards. So 16 damage. Take out the bird. Discard everything. Oh, I was scared there for a second. I thought I was going to take three damage for every one of those with the bide <laughs> but that wasn't the case okay uh let's we're gonna preserve our health here double block what's our percentage 45 percent oh i don't have enough mana what am i doing because i used i used that other one all right uh six damage let's roll a six a two Another battle of wits. No. Uh, we're just gonna play it safe right now. We're gonna do this and we're gonna reload. Set up for uh, future turns. Foc oh, the focus strike. Can we get you? Oh, we can. We can break your focus. And in fact, I might want this defensive tactic. Oh, never mind, but I can't, I can't, uh, I can't do that and break your focus. So, let's just break your focus. 70, excellent. And, oh, crossbow. Or I can kick and do 16. Uh, let's kick this. Discard everything. Uh, you got 10 health left. Can't do much about that. We're gonna... Oh, we're gonna block everything. That's excellent. And strike and strike. And uh, take you out right here. Excellent. That went surprisingly well. What is this? Gain a D8, a D6, and a D4 block. After casting this card, add a one-time copy of it to your hand and reduce the acquired mana of the copied card by one. Discover a magical dice card. Three. Pick a card from three cards that fits the requirement. Uh, there's long view. We saw that before. Crossroad. Temporarily increase the target number by a D6 or decrease the number by a D6. Interesting. How many purple cards do we have? A fair amount in order to feed the violet smoke. I kind of like that. Let's grab this one. And see about upgrading. All right, can we, like, what if I do this? Apply two dice penalty. When rolling dice for every six dice penalty, uh, roll an extra dice and take the lowest result.
it cast as the first card this turn resolve its effect. So we get two dice penalty. If we get six, we roll an extra dice. What about this? Uh, so it's no longer a mono blue card. It's any blue card. Oh, and then double phantom. Oh, kicker five. What does this do? What oh, makes it free? Is that what this is doing? It costs no mana. Oh. Deal five damage. Miracle deal four. Gain block. I mean, free crossbow. I feel like free crossbow is the way to go. I did kind of like this one. But no, we're going to do free crossbow. Crossbow plus. Let's go. And get some treasure. Choose between three new relics. When you lose HP, gain four crit hit. When the battle starts, gain four crit hit. Draw a card. Add an extra mana. Oh, that's great too. Charge two. Press to activate. Draw four cards. Oh, that's good. I even look. We are at like nine on our charts. I should probably be using these. I like all of these. I like probably soda a little better. Start of every battle. A small bag. Draw four cards. Of course, we don't gain any mana off of this. I'm going to take the soda. I'm going to take the soda. Crit hit sounds good, too. Oh, look at both of you. Bush warriors. Grass spear stab. All allies gain a d4 block. Oh, you guys are awful. So can I just... Can I like... Oh, I can do a lot of damage. So if I use this... It'll take two charge. Bring it down to eight, I'm presuming. And I do this. Put you at six. Oh, yeah. Excellent. And then I can use Battle of Wits and just take you out. Uh, yeah. Let's do... Let's do that. Do this. Do this. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. Sage Charm Triggered. Oh, when enemies... I didn't even notice this. When enemies' health bar is broken, draw two cards, gain two block. Uh, so we're at four block here. We got three mana. We can do 16 to you. Or actually, no, we can take you out. Yeah, 12. There we go. Chaotic Transform. Discover a modifier card 2. Divergent Thinking. Increase mana capacity by a d4. Ooh. Miracle. Add random mana repeat a d6 times. Limited. You can only play one card with limited each turn. Deal 10 damage. Miracle deal 12. Deal... What was that? D12? Deal d12 damage, gain d8 dice bonus, add d4 junk to your hand. Oh, I don't know about that. A bit of everything. Uh, I kind of like divergent thinking. We're going to grab that. Gain two golds. Come down here. Oh, double goose. Oh, no. Look at you guys. A naughty goose who likes to mess with all things possible. Troublemaker, after you draw a card, gain a random intention, which will discard your card. Wait, at your draw phase's end, discard one card from your hand. Oh, the goose is going to steal my card. The goose is going to put my rake in the lake. Alright, uh... Gain a bunch of block. Deal double d4 damage, both of yous. So, like, I can get rid of that. Actually, I probably should use that. I 
like I can kick this and I'll, I'll break, I'll gain some block. Or I can gain a bunch of block. Let's, uh, let's do this real quick. Gain 10. And we'll do, let's do Battle of Wits on one of yous. Discard both of them. Get the charm going. And uh, hopefully we can get another, another break on here. Excellent. And uh, that's about it. Oh man. Okay, our block held. Oh, and you stole a card. You're awful. Now, I could use my one dice ability here. Uh, let's try this. Oh, look at that. Okay, so it just increases the max capacity. It doesn't gain me actual any dice. Reload. All right, let's try something. Let's do this and hope it's a low number. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. No. I wanted it to be able to be a four here. Uh, let's reload this. We're going to block. Should I do it again? I feel like I might need this later on. But that's a lot of damage. Let's do it again. One more time. Roll the dice. Oh, excellent. Excellent. There we go. There we go. All right. Low numbers, low numbers. Six. That's good. Okay. A bunch of block. Uh, battle of wits. I could use the one dice. Sure, let's use this. Actually, I'm, let's do this. I'm going to I'm going to battle of wits, all of it. Excellent. Ooh, exactly what I'm looking for. All right, you're at 15. Let's do uh, let's do this here. Let's try a number change on you. Four. Man, the one dice is amazing. Wait, is my crossbow loaded? My crossbow's loaded. All right, what do we got? More violet smoke. I don't need another one. There's the chaotic transformation. Okay, card from two cards that fits the requirement. Draw four. Decrease max HP by a D8. Destroy target card in hand. I don't know. I don't know why I would want this. Let's try Chaotic Transformation. Of course, there is... There is value in just skipping if there's nothing I really want instead of diluting my deck. Uh, all right, let's see what this is. Presumably a shop. Indeed it is. Hiya. Gain five block, get one. What is that, red mana? Oh no, wait, that's, that's one of these. Get one like coin. Gain at the start of the turn, add two junk cards to hand. That doesn't sound great. Uh, this, unless there's something that plays off of that. Discard your hand, add six random cards to your hand. Oh man, add, add five mana, one of every color. Uh, Violet Smoke, Scavenge. Select up to one card from the discard pile and return to hand. 
Discover a junk card. Gain three block when playing a blue monocolored card. And we got some relics here. Add random mana, repeat two times. When the battle starts, gain three lucid. What is lucid? Required charge 12. Time passes again. When this turn ends, start an extra turn. Oh, there we go. When reshuffling cards from the discard pile into the draw pile, charge for this relic. Oh. Okay, so when you cycle through your deck, it's going to gain charges. Uh, is it just once or for every card cycled? I, I assume it's just once. This sounds crazy. Although we can only hold four mana. And this costs two. It's quite a bit. I don't know if there's anything here I like. Uh, I mean, maybe this. I have no clue what Lucid is. So you know what? Let's just buy it. Let's buy it. We'll find out. We'll find out what Lucid is. Uh, my end phase. Add random mana. Repeat two times. Yeah, sure. Grab that too. Oh, we can go straight down. Yeah, we'll do that. A mini park. While wandering in the wilderness, I pass the entrance to a park marked Nature's Embrace Park. Oddly, it appears the park is merely a gate. Uh, gain 12 HP. Wonder, wondering if this can even be considered a park. I get the Hermit. Increase, increase max HP by 6 and gain 6 block. It is fragile. Uh, is there a... Oh, can I look at the map? Is there a, a camp coming up? I don't even know. Let's grab a hermit. I pondered for a long time, and although I didn't come up with anything, this kind of goofy feeling relaxed me a lot. All right, let's move on. Yeah, there's one right here. Excellent. Uh, do I go another shop? I don't want to go another shop because I don't have, I don't have the, the gold. Then again, this gets me to an upgrade. Did the upgrade? I didn't even notice. Does the upgrade cost? I didn't even pay attention last time. All right, yeah, I can't buy anything. I'm just gonna leave. Come down here. Uh, no, upgrade doesn't cost anything. Excellent. Okay, what do we have? This gives it phantom. Increase mana capacity. It takes away limited, is what it does. That was the double phantom. Kick five. Any blue card. Or I might want to take one of my... Two dice bonus. That sounds good. Take the highest result. Although I might as well, you know, I might want to just increase one of my base attacks. So I can do more damage. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do one of the strikes. Oh, double wolf. Are these the throat? These are the throat wolves. Oh, the throat wolves. Uh, what can we do here? Gain six block, max HP. Let's go that. Goodbye. We could do some crazy violet smoke. Uh, but we can crossbow. Want to use 45% chance. Not great. Okay, what is it now? 70? That's a lot better. Let's do that. Excellent. Uh, and then we're going to we're going to use this maybe we'll take four damage that's fine but I want to oh interesting it's uh, the upgraded card it's all yellow now 
Defensive tactic. All right. We'll take four. Down to 38. You're going to gain evasion. That's awful. Oh, and now you have the the reactive. That's awful as well. But we can do... We can battle the wits you, though. Discard everything. For 60... Actually, we only need three of these. No, we need all, we need all of them. Provided they don't get evaded. Okay. Six damage. Uh, we can... Yeah, we can do uh, our Violet Smoke. And, uh, yeah, do this. Modify... Modify, deal... What's that? D8? A damage to a random enemy. Exert and temporary. Only exists in this battle. Won't be in your deck after the battle. Add a colorless. Uh, let's grab oscillation. Oh, interesting. Oh, so... Oh, I see how it works. Okay, well that was... That was a waste. But we're fine. We're fine. Okay. Uh, deal six damage. Increase mana capacity. Let's grab uh, that. We're going to we're going to block everything. And we're to. I mean. Either way, if we use Battle of Wits, we're just going to do 4 damage. It doesn't matter. So we can do this, and we can save uh, save a mana. Alright, uh, might as well use this on your 12 over here. Down to a 5, let's go. Even more mana capacity. It's free. Uh, reload. Sure, block. We're just using everything. Strike and strike. Oh, break your focus. Let's get it. Um, yeah, modifier. Deal, yeah, oscillation. Grab oscillation. And modify it on. Oh, can we put it on this one as well? Oh, it stays. Can we double? Can we double up? Does that get it twice? It gets <laughs> it gets it twice. Holy cow. Okay. Uh wait, does this what does this color does this give us? Does this give us blue? And a purple. Card with multicolor. For multicolor cards, when converting it to mana, it will randomly give you a corresponding color. Oh, please give me purple. Oh, oh, I, oh, I, I want to use this. I want to use this. Come on. Okay. Uh, I mean, actually, I should not have done that. Let's do this. Hopefully, it cycles back through. And we get to draw it. Do we get it? Oh, we got it. Let's go. <laughs> Excellent. Long view. Apply 16 butter hand. When attacking, check 16. If it fails, a damage is half. Uh, distract. When being attacked, check 16. If failed, double the damage, lose half of the paralyzed at start of turn. 
gain a three temporary power whenever you cast a card with loaded ammo, which we have one. Maybe we take a long view. At long view, it costs two. Slingshot seems dangerous. Uh, it might be okay. Let's grab that. All right, we got a we got a piggy here. Thick skin one, no trouble. Gain one intrepid when lose HP. Limit the loss to one, then lose one intrepid. Okay, so we gotta do some damage to you like right now. Let's do this. You're not gonna attack me, so I'm not worried about it. Do this. Uh, drop all of these. You got a lot of health. You got a lot of health, my man. Uh, damage. Just kind of randomly give me a blue. Sure. I don't need a block. Okay, here's that butter hand. I'm not entirely exactly sure how this works. Check eight. If it fails, damage is half. What is it rolling? A 20? Deal seven. Estimated nine damage. It's not great. Let's try a modifier. Gain block. Probably the block. And let's put this on our strike here. Because we're going to use that right now. To get down to one. Uh, okay, we're good, we're good. Strike that, strike that. Let's put this over here. You're gonna do nine with your increased power. Uh, oh, let's definitely do this on your little 25 there. I don't think so. Down to a four. All right, try transformation. Uh, just stick this on butter, a uh, slingshot. Uh, I don't want to use this. No. Let's go here, we'll just do this. Uh, reload, for sure. 7 to 14 damage. We can, we can kick this. Wait, but you have... Yeah, you got this. You, you only have one Intrepid, right? If I do this, you only take one. And now I can have you take 16 minus one. Oh, you're still alive. <coughs> oh, that's awful. So let's go. I guess we go defensive on this. So I can't take you out this turn. So use this. And we can't do that. Might as well do this. So trade that in. That was awful. All 
Alright, just kick it all. And get a strike in. There we go. 10 damage, miracles 12. Add 3 mana, remain. After casting, reduce 1 remain. Exert the card when it reaches 0. Restore after rest. Upon drawing this card, draw one more. Get a mana prism. Uh, let's take slow sword. Oh, we got three wolves now. Three throat wolves. This is awful. I don't have enough block here. Okay, we have to... Let's start using this, right? If I deal with their health, their evasion, their damage to me. All right, that's good, that's good. Still 13 damage. 10 damage if I use my one block. Uh, well, we're definitely using the block. Uh, let's do this again. Oh, fail. Uh, let's not use this. We gotta, we gotta save that. We're gonna do this. Uh, let's try to transform something. Give me the block. Yeah, I'll take the block. And we'll use the block on... Put it on this strike here. What do you got? Two now? Uh, we're gonna grab another block. Alright, but now, now you guys have the bide time for attack. Awful. Can I... I need to... Hold on, can I cancel this? How do I cancel this? Ah, uh, yeah, cancel this. Oh, no! Oh, I thought I was canceling it. I mean, technically I did cancel it, but not in the way I intended to. Well, we have to do this. We have to do this. We're taking too much damage. Actually, it's... Oh, damn. Never mind. It was probably better to do this. Oh, I messed that up. I messed that up. Can I... I can't. Increase mana capacity. Oh, wow. Should have given me some blue. Uh, put this here. Okay, good thing we have a camp coming up. Defensive tactic. Uh, man. Block. Oh, it's awful. I'm just going to die here. Is what's going to happen. I need to use this. I need to use this. Pray for a good number here. That's a good number. Hit that. Uh, still taking 10 damage here. Can I break? I could possibly break something here and get another card. Oh man, 45%? Nah, nope. Let's grab a block. Yeah, 
And yeah, we'll use this on... Uh, this one. Can I change? Oh, I can only change colorless. Oh, I don't have color. Oh, I'm thinking the wrong way. I'm thinking colorless can be used with any mana, but it can't. Oh, we got reactive. It's awful. So if I use block, does that go off before the reactive? It does. Okay, that's good to know. I got to reload. I could do a battle of wits. You're at five. Kind of need this block. How much? 70% chance. Alright, uh, let's risk it. No. Oh, we did get the we did get the break though, which is great. Uh, and we're gonna reload. And unfortunately, that's about it. I probably should have blocked instead. Okay, you have... Do I have a block? I have a block. I'm gonna have to put that up. I'm gonna die here. There's no way. I played this completely wrong. See, I could... I can't even get defensive tactic going and gain block with it. I guess a modifier card for block. And uh, drop this on this one. That gained three. That is not enough. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just dead. I'm just dead. Uh, actually, I'm not dead. What am I doing? I have this. La oh. <laughs> Last ditch effort. Come on. Five? No, that's not what I need. One more time. Low numbers. Was that seven? That's a, that kills me exactly. That kills me exactly. Uh, I have nothing else I can use here. The one dice has failed me. Unfortunate. Okay, well, here we go. Exact. They got me exactly. Spots. Okay, well, we gained uh, 15 stars. So do we go... Can I upgrade stuff now? Oh yeah, I can. Look at this. And now we get the different uh, the different colored decks. So well, we don't have the green deck. Not available in the demo. But we can unlock the red deck. As well as... The void deck we have. So if we unlock this for only three. And these unlock new cards. Emotional damage. That is great. So what is this? If we do this. The Berserker. Passion of Blaze in a life or death craze. Oh, I can't take these ones out. I wonder if in the full game you can take this out. I, so I can't mix blue and red at the moment. But now do I get to see what cards are in here? Red Orb with Passion Anger. A red orb can turn an emotionless killer into an emotional killer. Yeah, how do I see... 
Maybe that's just not in the demo quite yet, but it'd be great to see what cards are in these decks. You can upgrade your dice in the shop. Upgraded dice will be bigger. You can use dice in the loot screen. New cards, new cards. Oh, here. Oh, wait, does this show me? Wait, if I come down here. Wait, go, go back out? I can't, oh, it's stuck. I have my cards are stuck on here. <laughs> it is, it is an early demo, but, uh, but that's going to about do it for this video. Once again, this has been the demo for Dysomancer. I like a lot that is going on with this game. The art style and the animation is really neat, but I really love the mana system and being able to trade in cards for different colored mana, as well as the interplay between the dice and the cards is really cool. Uh, once again, this demo, as of this recording, is available for you to download and try for yourself. If you want to check it on out, I have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching.